Alright guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about subroutines and functions. We're going to talk about what they are, how they're different, and then we're going to jump over to some code and review it line by line to show a demonstration of how to use each one of them. So what I've got here in front of you is a main program, then I have a subroutine, and then I have a function. So my definition of a subroutine and a function is that they are separate blocks of code from your main program. They can be in the same file like this one here or they can be in another file like maybe they're in a library. So that's kind of what subroutines and functions are, just a separate piece of code. It's really no more complex than that. Where they are different is a function returns you something. Okay, and once we go into our live code demonstration you'll be able to see this. So the way it works you enter your main program you know it's line 1, line 2 it calls your subroutine so it doesn't go to line 3 the program is going to jump and it's actually going to come over here to your subroutine execute its line 1, its line 2 and then when it ends the subroutine it'll come back to your main program then it'll continue on with line 3 in your main. Once it gets to your function call, same thing, it leaves main. The code comes over here to your function, executes its line 1, its line 2. The function will set up to return something. So when you, when you end the function and you go back to your main program, this variable is going to be equal to whatever this value was that the function returned. Then it's going to go line four, and then you'll end your main program. So that's just kind of a high-level overview of what they are and kind of how different, the slight difference. It's just mainly that the function returns something. So now let's go over to our code and do a demonstration of this. So here's our code that we're going to do a demonstration of a function in a subroutine. But before we get started, there's one thing I forgot to talk about in the Word document and that is parameters. So I've got my function, my function name, I got these parentheses right here. Whatever's in between your parentheses, that's considered a, par a parameter, which is something that you pass to the function or to the subroutine when you call it. See down here in my subroutine, inside the parentheses, inum as integer. So I just so happens I have the same type of parameter in both of these but when I call them then I'm going to have to pass it a variable that is an integer data type. Some functions or some subroutines they can have multiple input parameters. So if I do s value as string then that means whenever I call this subroutine I've got to pass it to two variables, two parameters. The first one's going to have to be an integer. second one needs to be a string. For this program here, we just need the one value. And then the function, since it returns something, what I've got right here after the parentheses is the data type that the function is going to return. So I've got this one set up to return a Boolean. Notice my keywords here, return true or return false. So I could make it return an integer. I could make it return a string. You can make it return whatever you need. I just chose for this example it to be Boolean. All right, so now that we've talked about that a little bit, let's go over what we've got here. So just like our Word document, I have a little main program. We have a separate function and a separate subroutine. And what this program does is it takes a number and decides if it's an even or an odd number. And if it's an even number, then it writes it to a text file. The function is going to decide if it's even or odd, and the subroutine is going to be what logs it to the text file. So let's go ahead and step into this. We'll walk through it line by line. Alright, so the yellow arrow 
the yellow line, that's where we're at in the program. So here we go. I num one, that's my integer variable. I'm going to assign it a value of six. This next line right here is my function call. And as we talked about functions return a value, so this be even variable that I've declared up here as being Boolean will be assigned whatever this function returns. So like we talked about a second ago, my function is set up to return a Boolean value. So I need that to go into a Boolean variable. So that's why those match. They're both Booleans. So we're at line 10. Now when I hit the next step, we're not going to line 11. We're going to leave this main program and we're going to jump down here to line 18 because that's where the function is. See there? Like we talked about a minute ago, we're passing it our inum variable, which in this case is 6. So when we hit the next step, this is my way of checking to see if the number's even or not. I'm going to mod it by 2. If you mod an even number by 2, then it will always equal 0. So 6 modded by 2 is 0. So we're going to get into this if statement. And the very important keyword of return. I'm setting it up to return true. So then we get out of the function. We're going to go back up to line 10 in our main program up here. And now we can go to line 11. So B even it has a value of true now because that's what the function returned it. So I'm going to just check it with this if statement. If B even equals true, then we go inside the if statement and this is where we call our subroutine. Now notice I'm not don't have any variable being set equal to this because the subroutine does not return any value. So we're going to jump from line 13 down here to line 28 because that's where our subroutine is. We step into that. This is going to open this text file on my C drive. This line is going to write the value of the variable that we pass to it, which in this case is 6. It's going to write that to the text file. It's going to close the file. And now we'll go back up to our main program where we were and we'll finish it out. So we go open that text file. It should have a 6 in it. There we go. One other thing I wanted to just show you on the function, this return keyword. If I comment this one out, and I comment this one out, notice we got a little green squiggly line here, which says function does not return a value on all code paths. Are you missing a return statement? That's because when I when I use this keyword function, then it knows that a function is supposed to return a value. So when I when I uncomment those, the green squiggly line goes away and it's back happy again. So that's my demonstration of a subroutine and a function. I hope that makes sense. If you like the way I explained it, drop me a comment down below. And if there's anything that you'd like to see a video made on, like if you have a scenario of something you're trying to do, just drop me a comment and I'll try to get it programmed and do a line-by-line -line code review. So please subscribe to the channel. That way you can see my other videos I've got coming out. That's all for today. And thank you and bye.